Let us pray. O Lord Christ, King of the angel hosts and Lord of light, we offer unto thee these jewels of earth for the service of thy church, and we pray thee to purify and to hallow them, that they may serve as earthly tabernacles of the life of the seven spirits before the throne. Amen. O thou great Lord of harmony, whose beauty shineth throughout the world, we pray thee to fill these jewels of jasper with mighty power and blessing, that through them thy beauty may be poured forth upon thy people. Wherefore, do we consecrate them. To the glory of God, and to the perfecting of humankind, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Four crosses, place where the east is. If we put the altar stone down, this to the east, we must remember to mirror the stones, in other words, the jasper goes in here. There we go. Topaz goes in here. Amethyst. Diamond. Sapphire. Ruby. And the emerald. There we are. Then we're going to seal those with candle wax and then we'll do the consecration. explanation what we're going to do is we're first going to use, use holy water on the stone and um, then we will chrismate it using exercise all influences of evil, that they may be banished and driven forth from the stone, which we are about to dedicate to the service of God, in the power of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
O God, who in the mystery of thy boundless love didst breathe forth thine own divine life into this universe, and art thyself the continual source of its existence, stretch forth, we pray thee, the right hand of thy power upon the stone, and so fill it with thy heavenly grace and blessing that it may be worthy to serve as the throne of our Lord Christ in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, through the same Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Okay, the general principle is the same with uh, these vessels. We first uh, do the dispersing with holy water, and with the chalices and the ciborium, what happens is we actually draw three crosses on the inside of the surface uh, at three regular intervals, so that we have a cross for each of the persons of the Holy Trinity. And um, well, we'll see how we do the pattern in a moment. That's slightly easier. God, I exercise all influences of evil, that they may be banished and driven forth from these chalices, patents, and ciboria, which we are about to dedicate to the service of God. The power of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Ghost. God, who in the mystery of thy boundless love didst breathe forth thine own divine life into this universe, and art thyself the continual source of its existence, stretch forth, we pray thee, the right hand of thy power upon this chalice, and so fill it with thy heavenly grace and blessing, that it may be worthy to serve thee as a sacred vessel in the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, through Christ our Lord. Who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages. who in the mystery of thy boundless love didst breathe forth thine own divine life into this universe, and art thyself the continual source of its existence. Stretch forth, we pray thee, the right hand of thy power upon this patent, and so fill it with thy heavenly grace and blessing, that it may worthily serve as a sacred vessel in the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, through Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages.
in the mystery of thy boundless love, didst breathe forth thine own divine life into this universe, and art thyself the continual source of its existence. Stretch forth, we pray thee, the right hand of thy power upon this symbolium, and so fill it with thy heavenly grace and blessing, that it may worthily serve as a sacred vessel in the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist, through Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Now these uh, elements have all been chrismated. <coughs> the idea is that uh, they can be cleaned with uh, paper towel or cotton wool, and that the paper towel or cotton wool is burned afterwards so that we do not uh, throw this, uh, shall we say, in in a regular place where uh, rubbish is thrown. Um, the chalices and the ciboria and the patents may also be washed in, in, in hot water and the hot water spread out uh, in the garden. Again, with the same idea, we don't want that to go down into the drain. So that, that is the uh, consecration of uh, altar stone and ciboria, chalices, patents. The only thing that I still have to do is Franchek asked me to give uh, these a blessing, which I will uh, do straight away. Add a little liturgy, because this is something that uh, does not necessarily have to be done by a bishop. Um, any priest is also able to bless objects for people. So. Um, in the liturgy, we have a special section for that. We're going to the consecration of the bishop right now. Since you could now also put these both into the incense. It's not essential, but if you have it, it can be done. In the name of God, I exercise all influences of evil, that they may be banished and driven forth from this cross and chain and this ring, which we are about to dedicate to his service. The power of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the mystery of thy boundless love didst breathe forth thine own divine life into this universe, and art thyself the continual source of its existence, stretch forth, we pray thee, the right hand of thy power over this cross, this chain, and this ring, which have in diverse ways been purified, and fill these creatures with heavenly grace and blessing. Grant that whosoever shall use these objects may be enlightened in heart and mind, and serve thee in all good works. Through Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. And if you do this just before a Holy Eucharist, and what is often done is you place them in the center of your altar stone, and then you place your chalice over it, and leave it there for the entire celebration of the Eucharist. Um, that is again optional, that adds to the, to the beauty of the blessing. But as I say, any priest can do this, so you don't need to, to hire any bishop for that. <coughs> 